A slowing labor market gave Wall Street something else to worry about as it grapples with the threat of another round of tariffs on Chinese-made goods. According to data released by the Labor Department on Friday, the U.S. economy added 164,000 new jobs in the month of July. Now, that was in line with expectations, but a big drop from the hiring seen in June. Hiring for May and June were also downwardly revised. And in another worrisome sign, the average work week shrank to its slowest in almost two years. Now, that is significant because if employers are giving workers fewer hours, that could suggest that they have too many workers to meet demand, and that could forecast a slowdown in hiring in the future. Looking further at what's happening in the labor market, wages only ticked up modestly in July, matching the small increase the month before. The closely watched unemployment rate held steady at 3.7 percent. Hiring so far this year has fallen far short of last year's rate. Economists aren't sure whether that's due to a mismatch between the jobs out there and the skills of those looking for work, or if it's due to employers feeling like they don't have to add as many workers. And now some economists worry if this is as good as it gets. Industry groups are already up in arms, warning the new round of tariffs on Chinese goods will slow consumer spending, worry CEOs, and kill more jobs. The Federal Reserve is highly sensitive to the somber sentiment around trade gripping CEOs that is resulting in a slowdown in business spending. That was the major reason Fed Chairman Jerome Powell gave for a rate ease on Wednesday. Given the new round of tariffs set to go in effect on September 1st, markets are now betting with near 100 percent certainty another rate cut is coming in September.